When finding the volume of any sphere, you may use one of the two equations shown at the bottom of the screen. The two equations are not two different equations, but rather two different ways of writing the same equation. For this example, we are going to use the equation shown at the very bottom. When finding the volume of any sphere, the numbers 4 on the top, 3 on the bottom, and pi on the top are constants. That simply means that they will never change their values when finding the volume of a sphere. The variable in this equation is the radius. The radius in this case is 6 and we must raise the radius to the third power. I'm going to write 6 to the third power in expanded form. Writing numbers in expanded form makes it easier to recognize when you may use cancellation. In this case, we can cancel this 6 with this 3 and change the 6 into a 2 and the 3 into the number 1 because they both share a common factor of 3. The next thing that we are going to do is multiply all of the numbers we have remaining at the top for our numerator, starting with 4 times 2, which is 8. And then we have to multiply 8 by the product of 6 times 6, which is 36. And we still have to multiply that by pi. Now at this point, we do not have to write any denominator because whenever your denominator is the number 1, it is not necessary to write a denominator of 1 because anything divided by 1 is itself. The next thing that we are going to do is multiply 8 times 36, which is 288. And we still have to multiply 288 by pi. Now if you were asked to find the volume of a sphere in terms of pi, we would already have our answer. We would say the volume is 288 pi cubic centimeters. But if we want to go a little further and solve using 3.14 for pi, we will have to multiply 288 by 3.14. Now we know 288 is close to 300 and 3.14 is close to 3. So as an estimate, we could do 3 times 300, which is 900. Our answer should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 900 cubic centimeters. After multiplying 288 times 3.14, we come up with an answer of 904 and 32 hundredths cubic centimeters. And that is how you find the volume of any sphere in terms of pi or using 3.14 for the value of pi.